Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right there, I'm going to make a beef and chickpea curry. It's really, really delicious. I'm going to start by cooking our beef with a little bit of water and some whole gao masala to kind of get it really tender. It's really quite simple. It's absolutely delicious. Let's go and do it. So we're going to start off with a pan. I've got a little bit of oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. And you can use any oil you like. There's some cloves. Some green cardamom. And here I've got some fennel seeds. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to add the beef in a moment. Then we're going to add some water. And bring that to a boil and cook it for a little bit to kind of tenderize the beef. It's just a different method. You can just cook it straight. And go straight in with all the spices and the masala. But because the, uh, the beef or some mutton is really kind of tough. I want to kind of tenderize it as much as I can so it's beautifully soft. Right, in we go with our beef. So you can see that I've cut that into kind of fairly thin strips. We're just going to fry that for about two or three minutes. I'm on a kind of fairly lively heat. Then I'm going to come back, drop some water in it, then bring it to the boil. See you in a couple of minutes. So that was just in, enough time for the meat to change colour on the outside. Let's add a little bit of salt. And then, like I said, I'm going to just drop some cold water. Just kind of enough to slightly cover it. Now turn the heat up as high as you can. And let that go. Let it boil. And with the lid off, let it evaporate as well. I mean, we're not going to lose all of that moisture. But we'll certainly lose some of it. So it'll probably take about 10 to 15 minutes and then this process is going to ensure that we've got a lovely tender piece of meat to be working with. So as you can see, a lot of that water has evaporated. And there's just a touch in there, which is fine. We can go ahead now. Now that's really helped us out on, on, the, on its way to get the process of that being tender. At this point, I'm now going to add in some chopped onions. I've got some garlic ginger paste. That's a 50-50 mix of the two. Fresh garlic and fresh ginger. Now let's just fry this around. I'm still on a fairly lively heat. Just for about two or three minutes. At this point I'm gonna add in my uh, chana or chickpeas. These are pre-cooked, these are actually a tinned version or a canned version. If you're going to use a canned version or a tin, make sure you give them a nice good rinse with some nice clean cold water. And if you're going to use them from dry, make sure you soak them well and cook them really well. Also make sure you get all those little stones and bits of grit that come with them when they're dried usually. But now I'm going to go for some powders, equal parts of turmeric, chili powder, coriander powder, and cumin powder. Or if you like, you could just use your favourite curry blend or mixed powder. That's up to you guys. And again, I just want to cook the powders for a couple of minutes. 
slide them around. Get them coated onto our beef and our china. And now I'm going to add some chopped tomatoes, fresh tomatoes that I've chopped up, fairly small. So with these tomatoes, just leave them on the top. Don't mix them in yet. Pop the lid on. Keep an eye on that. But what should happen is the steam will create a little bit of moisture for us. The tomatoes will break down. We may add a little touch of water depending on how juicy your tomatoes are. We'll take a look in about, I don't know, three or four minutes. Okay, let's take a look here now. Let's turn the heat down. And as you can see, they're softened really nicely, those tomatoes. And we do seem to have some gravy happening there. Oh, moisture, which is fantastic. That's really good. So for me, there's no need to add any water. If you don't have any sort of gravy happening. Just add a little splash of water now. Okay, I'm now going in with fresh green chilli. Up to you how much you put in. I'll put about sort of three or four in there. And now I'm going to put in some curry leaves. Fresh curry leaves. Normally, well quite often, I cook these at the beginning in the oil with the garam masala, but today I want them in now. And they'll give a much nicer flavour, a much stronger flavour, I find. I'm not going to be adding any coriander or cilantro to this dish. We're going to pop the lid back on, so we're on a low heat. I'm going to cook that for about five or six minutes. I probably am going to add a little splash of water at that point. And then we're going to cook it just a little bit longer than that. Just check, check out that beef. So low, slow, lid on, keep an eye on it. I'll be back in about five or six minutes. Okay, let's jump inside now and take a look. All right, that's looking absolutely wonderful. I did say I was going to add a touch more water, but I don't actually think I need to. That looks fantastic. That meat's going to be absolutely beautifully tender. Check that for salt now. I'm okay. I know that, but you might want to add a little bit more. I'm super happy with that. The process that we've done at the beginning has really ensured that that beef or mutton, if you were making this with mutton, is really beautifully tender. Lots of love to you all. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.